In this tutorial we won't be programming, but we'll take a closer look at the three big JSON files that are needed when for example making a block and how the contents actually relate to each other. We're going to take the amethyst ore as an example, the one we created in our last tutorial. We needed three distinct JSON files for this, the block states JSON, the block model and the item model. This is how the block states JSON looks, this is how the block model looks and this is how the item model looks. The JSON files for normal blocks should all look very similar, however there can of course be special exceptions for this. For example in the block states later down the line we will see that there are some things that are called block state properties and those will then show up here. The easiest thing to imagine is you've all seen the read crop row. The idea is that the block state has a certain age property that goes from one to seven. And depending on what the property is, a different model is displayed. In our case with the amethyst ore, there is only one model that is linked here. And the model that is linked here points to the block model JSON. So this one right here. In turn, this one points to the textures and sets all of the textures on the block to the texture that is inside of the textures folder, inside of block folders in there called amethyst or, and then a PNG at the end. To have the item properly displayed here, we reference the block model once again. And I've drawn this up in two overviews, one of them a bit simpler and one of them basically showing exactly this, right? So this is the simple overview for the Minecraft modding JSONs. This should open up the understanding very simply. We first have the block states JSON right here. As I've already mentioned, this basically looks at the block states properties and chooses a block state model based on that. And what is responsible for this is exactly this right here. So the model is chosen and then we look at the blocks slash amethyst underscore or block model JSON. This is then represented here, which basically does a few things. It decides on what the textures for each of the sides of the block is, as well as the block shape 3D inside of the world. This block model JSON is also referenced by the item model JSON. And as you can see, the representation inside of the inventory is basically exactly the same as the 3D version inside of the world. This doesn't necessarily have to be the case. You could also have a different texture. However, this is the norm when it comes to block models and block items. The block models JSON, of course, refers to a certain texture that is in this case, the amethyst underscore or PNG texture. And this is done via this textures all and then the block slash amethyst underscore or. And we can see the same thing here, color coded and also number coded what the particular parts in this actually refer to inside of the folder structure. Both these slides are available as cheat sheet downloads down in the description below. And just to re reiterate once more, we have the, of course, tutorial mod in our case is our mod ID. So this is number one right here. We have number two, which is the amethyst or block states JSON, which is located in the block states folder. That refers to a model and to what model we can see by specifying the block and then the amethyst or model JSON right here, which is this one. This one refers to a texture. Once again, of course, in our mod ID folder under texture, because that's what we're referring to here under block and then amethyst underscore or PNG. And then last but not least, the item model JSON, which once again refers to block and amethyst underscore or, which is inside of the models in this case. So that's the reference right here. But I hope that that gave you a bit of a better overview for the JSON files inside of Minecraft modding. This should be the same both for Forge and for Fabric actually, because the way the JSON files are built have much more to do with Minecraft than each of the APIs. Right, I hope this was useful to you and you learned something new. If it was, then I would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Like I've already mentioned, everything is downloadable in the description below and I hope I'll see you in the next video. So yeah.